At some point, most of us have looked in the mirror and despaired a little over the faces our parents gave us. It's just a fun quirk of the human condition. But wait, before you sulk, take a minute to see how far you've come. I mean, look at me five years ago compared to now. That, my friends, is called a glow up. And there's plenty more where that came from. From celebrities in bloom to instantaneous TikTok transformations, get ready to catch your chin as you're about to witness some truly jaw-dropping glow-ups. <laughs> Expectation versus reality, TV. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, almost 220,000 rhinoplasties, also known as nose jobs, are performed each year. And whether it's modified snouts or pouts, it's clear modern folks are increasingly seeking the magic of cosmetic surgery, as the industry is set to grow to almost $70 billion by the year 2026. But this obsession with perfection isn't just a 2010s and 2020s thing. In fact, back in 2004, Fox's TV series The Swan would take self-confessed ugly ducklings, nip, tuck, and completely reconstruct them until they became beautiful swans. Yeah, it's fair to say this show is aged worse than a carton of milk. Appearing in the show's second season, before it inevitably got canceled, was 27-year-old single mom Amy Williams from Texas, who believed her big nose, loose stomach, and bad teeth were holding her back from becoming a singer. But with the help of the show's resident fairy godmothers, or rather, surgeons, dentists, nutritionists, personal trainers, and therapists, Amy had a true Cinderella transformation. the real bell of the ball, right? But what exactly did they do to Amy? Well, besides the classic hair down, glasses off, hot librarian transformation and good lighting and color grading, Amy had a biblical amount of cosmetic procedures. Namely, a nose job, liposuction, veneers, and even jaw implants. And while I wouldn't encourage anyone to radically or surgically change their appearance just to fit in, those surgery gods took Amy from water to fine wine. Featuring in the same season was Marsha Metalberg. With severe anxiety, Marsha felt invisible and didn't want to be seen. Among many things, this was partly due to her facial hair issue. Marsha admitted she felt disgusting and unfeminine and feared she'd be alone forever. But those fairy god surgeons waved their scalpels and took Marsha from invisible to invincible. Get ready to be amazed. No, don't adjust your screen. I can confirm that is the very same Marsha. It's pretty crazy what a nose job, some facial adjustments, an eyebrow pluck, some professional hairstyling, and a few hours in the makeup chair can do. Now let's move on to another source of major reality TV glow up, shall we? The swan's starting to feel a little too much like an episode of The Twilight Zone. While makeup in the Victorian age was seen as a sign of an immoral character, modern folks can't get enough of it. And with the global beauty industry projected to grow to over $716 billion by 2025, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. But one show titled Snog, Marry, Avoid, which aired in the UK from 2008 to 2013, tackled a perceived issue of people wearing too much makeup and attempted to wean them off their face paint addictions. Oh, and just FYI, snog is British slang for making out. The show's basic premise was to ask men of the public whether they'd snog, marry, or avoid women who've taken cosmetics to the extreme, compiling percentages from that data. Peeling back the layers of makeup, the show aimed to prove that natural beauty surpasses all, in something they called a make-under. In 2013, 21-year-old pink-haired, tatted, and punk-styled Mel Wildman appeared on the show in one of the most dramatic make-unders. With her magenta mohawk and leather-studded attire, Mel was the very embodiment of it's not a phase, mom. Trading in this intimidating look that allegedly scared people off, Mel gave the whole natural beauty thing a whirl. And the results? Well, let's just say she swiftly went from antisocial to Lady Melanie, pleased to meet you. With her new look, a huge 70% of the public now wanted to snog her, and the other 30% wanted to marry her. 
Guess I better join the back of the line. But even with all these proposals, Mel's inner punk made its way out as she went back to rocking her signature style, albeit with a little less mohawk. Many people want a sip from the fountain of eternal youth. And with modern medicine and technology, attempting to slow the hands of time has never been more popular. In fact, in 2020, over 6 million people worldwide indulged in Botox, an injection that relaxes the face's muscles, smoothing wrinkles. While its title might sound like a pop-up ad in some dark corner of the web, 10 Years Younger in 10 Days is a UK show that takes people who haven't aged particularly well and gives them an age-reversing makeover. Guests are given non-invasive treatments such as Botox, dental work, and skin care with hopes of reviving their youthful glow. In 2020, 54-year-old farmer and mother of two, Gail, appeared on the show, who described herself as a saggy old cushion. The British public on the street seemed to agree, as when surveyed, they guessed her age at 64, 10 years older than she actually was. But that was all about to change, after her makeover left her looking like this. Thanks to dental work, Botox, and a stylish new do, Gail went from grandma to Hollywood star. Sharon Stone, anyone? The process shaved away 15 years as the public put her new age at 49. So, Gail, what do you say? Me, you, eight o'clock tomorrow? How Hollywood do. Those celebs, huh? While it seems they've got some kind of magical age-reversing flower like Mother Gothel and Tangled, the truth is far less whimsical. With over 230,000 Americans reported to have had a facelift in 2020, it's no surprise that stars such as Cher, who is 75, seem to be evergreen. But even among the less temporally advanced stars, another example of aging like a fine wine is pop star Adele. Since 2019, the star has reportedly lost over 100 pounds due to her radical exercise regime, which she does three times a day. And even while experts suggest losing one to three pounds per week is achievable, many suspect the singer has had a weight loss procedure, such as gastric bypass surgery. This involves bypassing most of the stomach, ushering food through a much smaller space into the small intestine, meaning the person consequently has a much smaller appetite. As a result, fewer calories are absorbed and weight loss becomes easier. That being said, Adele has not confirmed any of these rumors. Still, many would agree that Adele looks completely different from when she first appeared on the pop scene in 2008. And while age, weight loss, and styling certainly go a long way, she's also rumored to have had a rhinoplasty. A subtle one, sure, but just looking at comparisons, you can see the tip looks slightly less bulbous. Plastic surgeon Renato Calabria suspects a tip rhinoplasty a minimally invasive procedure that reduces the width and positioning of the lower cartilage. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, as she's also rumored to have had lip and jaw filler and even liposuction. But for now, there ain't no gospel truth to it, so how about we go easy on her, yeah? Everyone has a unique face shape. Me, I'm just a face with arms and legs. However, people can have anything from a diamond to an oval-shaped face and it's thought that different haircuts will complement these shapes and affect a person's overall attractiveness. One star who has certainly experimented with her do over the years is Kelly Osborne. From helmet hair to can I speak to the manager chic, she's sported them all. Yet these days she arguably looks better than ever. So what is it? The hair? Surgery? The blood of the children? Eating bats like her dad? <laughs> nope. She claims she's had absolutely no plastic surgery whatsoever. I have not had plastic surgery. I've never done anything to my face other than a couple of injections in my lips, in my jaw, and in my forehead here. I do not lie, but thank you for the compliment. Okay, so admittedly, she's had a few injections in her lips, jaw, and forehead, which has ultimately enhanced her beauty, but who hasn't? Why do you think I look so shocked all the time? It's Botox, baby! Now, besides hairdos, great makeup, and those injections, which she seemingly doesn't count as surgery, you'll also notice that the star has shrunk a few dress sizes. This is thanks to the fact that, while plastic surgery is off limits for her, other surgery isn't. Kelly confirmed she actually had a gastric sleeve procedure in 2018, 
a similar procedure to gastric bypass, which significantly reduced her stomach capacity and resulted in over 84 pounds of weight loss. And honestly, the results are pretty darn impressive. Now, oftentimes, tweaking just one simple feature of your body or face can alter your entire appearance. One of the biggest factors in this regard could be teeth. In fact, studies have shown that people with straight pearly whites are not only seen as more attractive, but more intelligent and successful. And if you need proof, then take a look at Exhibit A, Matthew Lewis, the Neville Longbottom actor in Harry Potter, known for his characteristically large teeth. To begin with, those distinctive chompers were the real deal. However, as the movie series progressed and its young cast began to grow up, it wasn't long before Matthew grew into his teeth and subsequently had to wear prosthetic ones in order to maintain his distinctive goofy look. Yet even having grown into his teeth, they weren't exactly the typical dazzling Hollywood grin. So Matthew had them corrected. And the result? Well, you'd think he'd had a face transplant. But allegedly, they're entirely his own teeth after braces and whitening treatment. Well, mostly his own teeth. It's also suspected that he's had composite bonding, a dental treatment that uses resin to reshape, restore, and whiten teeth. So it seems teeth really can change your face. Seems like magic to me. On the topic of science-based attractiveness, research indicates that people generally find slimmer physiques more attractive. While at one time human preferences may have favored the fat folk, due to their evidently ample access to food and resources, most people now associate obesity with increased risk of health problems. Now, obviously, the variety of shapes and sizes humans come in is a beautiful thing, and skinnier doesn't always equate to healthier. But as we see time and again, society reveres weight loss as the ultimate glow up. Perhaps none more famous than Josh Pex. The Nickelodeon child star first hit the big time in 2004 when he starred in Drake and Josh. However, in 2006, he revealed he decided to take charge of his weight, reportedly shedding 90 pounds of puppy fat. He explained how he'd made a conscious effort to lose weight because he knew he could be happier as well as healthier. He started dieting and got a personal trainer, and that health and happiness arrived right on cue. It's no surprise. Countless studies have shown that regular exercise increases overall happiness, due in part to the increased production of endorphins, which result in positive feelings and confidence. Personally, I have a traumatic past with exercise. It all started in high school when I was used as a soccer ball. <laughs> Let's move on, I don't wanna talk about it. The World Wide Web of Lies. With over 57% of the global population using social media, the internet has never had more of an influence on us, which has incidentally given way to people who we now call influencers. And while many of them may present themselves as completely flawless, it's often nothing more than smoky eyes and well-lit mirrors. Thankfully, to balance this out, we have the likes of Jesse Volk. This 26-year-old Canadian TikToker isn't afraid to share her natural looks in contrast with her at her best. With almost 1 million followers, she shapeshifts from bedhead to beauty in her glow-up videos. Having struggled with her acne-prone skin, Jesse claims she is a proud catfish, meaning someone who isn't naturally attractive and embraces the transformative powers of makeup. Let's see her in action. Now that's a glow up with a capital G. From pale and pimply to golden and glowy, Jessie uses her makeup magic to enlarge her eyes, slim down her nose, and smooth out her skin, resulting in a truly jaw-dropping glow up. Also using the platform to show the power of a contour, meaning the use of shading and highlighting with makeup to change the perceived shape of the face, is British 21-year-old Jocelyn Clare. Going bareface, Jocelyn shows her just-woke-up look with messy hair, slightly blotchy, pimply skin, but by the end of the video, she reveals a seemingly whole new face. Check it out. And that, my friends, is how you use makeup. Jocelyn contours, blushes, and de-blemishes her acne-prone skin. With glossy lips, shaped brows, cat eyes, and styled hair, Jocelyn is textbook glow-up. Oh, and one more thing. Jocelyn is actually a trans woman and uses the platform to show how transformative makeup can be for the LGBTQ community. If anyone exemplifies that transformation, it's her, and she's using her platform to try and raise funds for the next transformative step. 
transitional surgery so she can glow up into the woman she deserves to be. It's 2022 and, as a general, though not conclusive rule, the world is more accepting than it's ever been. And while front-running feminists are sprouting out their body hair, as many as one in 14 women struggle with facial hair. For many, it's a sworn secret they work tirelessly to conceal. But others are calling time on this feminine ideal, bearing their five o'clock shadows for the world to see. Jordan Lynn is a 22-year-old British TikToker who too has a bit of stubble. She proudly shares her prickly chin to over 600,000 followers. But when she does need to cover it, Jordan shows how she does it with the help of cosmetics. And the difference is pretty crazy. Now that's a transformation. But how? Well, with the help of a close shave and makeup foundation, she conceals her facial hair as well as her under eye bags. She's also used strategic techniques in shade contouring to make her nose and face look visibly slimmer and her lips and eyes look bigger. Oh, and hairstyling always helps too. There are certain features that most folks agree typically decrease a person's attractiveness. Whether it's unkempt hair or acne prone skin, there are unfortunately some things that just seem to take away from the beauty of the full picture. With that in mind, various TikTokers have taken to making themselves look intentionally unattractive so that their glow ups seem all the more shocking. And someone who's quite the pro at this is 20 year old Russian Valeria Voronina. Embellishing her face with pimples, wrinkles, and discolored teeth, her rags to riches act will leave your jaw hanging. Impressive, huh? And weirdly, the most impressive part is how she manages to make herself look so old. She uses makeup, shading, and highlights to carve wrinkles into her skin, which, paired with pursed lips and a scowl, provides the perfect recipe for an old hag. Comparing that with her bedazzled eyes, chiseled cheeks, jaw, and nose, and dramatic front lighting, and it's clear that Valeria is a cosmetics chameleon. In the same category as Valeria is French TikToker, Puyard. This TikToker dons a pair of nerdy glasses and exposes uneven, pimply skin, showing themselves in as much of an unattractive light as possible. And the transformation? Well, take a look for yourself. Incredible. Who'd have thought wigs, blusher, and contour could completely defy the laws of physics? As you can see, Pewee Yard has dramatically highlighted and contoured their nose, which creates the illusion of a much slimmer profile. And besides their overlined pouted lips and immaculate skin, the wig certainly transforms the whole look too, proving blondes really do have more fun. As we discussed earlier, teeth are pretty central to a person's appearance. But if you needed more proof, then look no further than 35-year-old Canadian makeup artist Sarah Andreas who lost her front teeth in 2017 due to a quad biking accident. The makeup mogul creates TikToks where she goes from toothless to gorgeous in a matter of seconds, and the transformation will truly take your breath away. Sarah, where'd she go? Yep, with clever contouring, groomed eyebrows, a whole lot of glitter, and of course, clip-in veneers, Sarah looks unrecognizable. And it's thanks to Sarah's self-esteem that she's able to post these videos. She claims she doesn't care about how she looks naturally and rightfully knows looks aren't everything. She explains how she posts the videos to inspire women and remind them they're beautiful with and without makeup. The belief that makeup enhances beauty in some ways is nothing new. Ancient Egyptians pioneered the idea some 6,000 years ago as a way to appeal to the gods and show wealth. But how have we evolved to perceive a cocktail of chemicals, oils, and pigmentation as beauty? Well, studies show that perceived attractiveness, particularly that of women, is based around prominent cheekbones, large eyes, smooth skin, and small noses. While smooth skin is indicative of health, research shows that youthful-faced features in women, such as large eyes and small noses, can be biologically more attractive to men. Now, before you freak out, research claims this is because youthfulness, above a certain level of course, biologically tends to indicate fertility, which from an evolutionary standpoint is obviously quite handy. And while these features naturally are down to age and genetics, they can be enhanced or even faked with the old grease paint. 
One TikToker who's no stranger to makeup's illusory properties is 40-year-old American makeup artist Christelle Lee. She's a true master. But why tell you when I can show you? If that isn't a glow up, then I don't know what is. But what exactly is going off here? First of all, let's talk about the wig. Studies show that longer hair in women increases attractiveness due to its association with youth, which, as we know, indicates fertility. Aside from the wig, Christelle evens out her skin with concealer and foundation, achieving a healthier look and gaining those youthful features by wearing false eyelashes and contouring to enlarge her eyes and shrink her nose. With makeup magic like that being increasingly possible, plastic surgeons should be getting worried about their job stability. Ah, puberty. With the arrival of hormones, hair, and zits, the transformation from child to adult can be pretty turbulent. In fact, for most people around age 16 to 18 is when their faces fully develop, and it doesn't necessarily all mature at the same rate. Once everything grows into place, however, it's not uncommon for ugly ducklings to flourish into beautiful swans. Yet there are some people who seem to have changed more dramatically than the usual, which is why there's a user-created section on Reddit called Ugly Ducklings. It's a place where people share their most severe childhood pictures compared to how they look now. And if anything, it gives hope to all you squeaky voiced pimple probing teens out there. First up is user underscore Gabby2G, who went into puberty looking like Steve Smith and came out looking like a golden god. While I'm sure that growing into his teeth, facial features, jawbone, and that luscious hair sure helped, I can't help but think those glasses weren't doing anyone any favors. And I'm pretty sure the cast of The Swan who we met earlier realized that too. But if we're going to talk about bad glasses, then look toward user Veronica Fergus, who went through platform nine and three quarters looking like Hagrid and came back having clearly experienced some magic firsthand. Saying Expelliarmus to those goggles, slimming out, letting the braces run their course and taming that wild hair turned out to do just the trick. And last but certainly not least, Alicia Hood. While she isn't in Reddit's Ugly Duckling Club, she certainly is in the Thank God for Puberty Club. The TikToker began puberty looking kinda goofy and carrying a little extra weight. But as you can see, weight loss, good hair, makeup, and stylish clothes have enhanced her beauty tenfold. Impressive, right? But the truth is, nobody's perfect. And it's what's on the inside that counts. Okay, so maybe that's a little cliche. And maybe we're extremely shallow creatures at heart, but what's really important is finding your own ways to feel beautiful and confident. It's doable through the gradual process of realizing that you're pretty darn great no matter how you think you look. After all, the greatest things anyone can offer the world, whether they're Brad Pitt or Oscar the Grouch, are their ideas, personality, and perspectives. I mean, look at me. I feel pretty good about myself, and I'm a short, bald, toothless, and noseless ball. Now glow! Glow, my pretties. Glow. So, which of the glow-ups we saw today shocked you the most? Have you had a glow-up? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.